Hello everyone, I'm Christian Negulescu and today I will show you how to work with the custom objects in Salesforce. So you know that we have a lot of um, activities here for different objects in Salesforce, but sometimes you have to work with a custom object. Let's first identify the custom object. So I'm here on the Salesforce interface and on the Salesforce interface I am on assets. Yeah, And if I go to on assets on, um, on this one uh, related, We'll see that I have here licensing, yeah. So licensing it's a custom object that is not defined in our component, yeah. So if I go here on the on an item of licensing, I will see here that my custom object is called licensing C, license is uh, underscore C. Let's um, let's use this custom object and see what we can do with this custom object, yeah. So to be able to add the data on this uh, entity. Basically, I will go here on the Salesforce. I will use add custom object. I will drag and drop. I will search here for license. Let's put like this. Let you can copy paste also this one. So this is my object. Yep. So to add data, again I have the example, so they can uh, the system will provide me an example, and I can ask also for mandatory parameters. In this case, the mandatory parameters is only the name. So let's put a value, 789, this one. If I run the command, it's working, so I get an ID. Now, in this case, let's see something visual. So to be able to see something visual, I want to add this, um, this license to, my, uh, to this asset, yeah? So I have here an asset. Uh, this is one is my asset. So I will take the ID of this asset. We go to relate it. It's not this one, it's the first one, I think. Yeah, this one is my asset. So let's go back. We take the value, the ID of this asset. We see that we have two licensing and then to add another one. Let's take a look here. So to be able to add asset, you need to put asset name. So we'll just double click and he will add asset name. And I'll put this value. Yeah? So this is the asset that will be assigned. And let's put here 9875-32146. Yeah, something like this. So let's run the command now. So the robot say the system say that the command is valid. I can get ID. Let's say continue. And I can search on this ID. And you'll see that this one is assigned to my asset. And we can go also visual to, to see this stuff. If we go here and refresh, you will see that I have three licensing related. And we have three licenses on, on this one. So in this way, you can work with the custom object without any problems. The same way that you work with a normal object, you just need to identify the name of the custom object. Let's see how you get data from a custom object. Yeah. So you don't have get a custom object. So you use the, the wizard. Yeah. So use the gate data wizard. Here you have examples, but in our case, we need to work with uh, our licensing. I don't forget, I forgot to how it's called. Yeah, so licensing. So he will help me. Yeah, so he will help me. And this is the value. So I'll copy this value. I will say that I want to work with this. I want fields. I don't know what is the fields, and I want where. I'm not sure on what I will write now, but let's put the fields, yeah? So for the fields, I will get the data. I want what I want. I want the ID, the owner ID. I want the name of the license. I want uh, asset name, a start date, end date. So he already created my, uh, my stuff. And I have um, uh, where. Let's wonder where. Let's put this one. Let's put asset name. It's equal with what we have here. So let's go back and let's see what was. So this was our asset. This is the value of our ID. So let's do this one. And basically, we have a command that gives us all the license from 
that asset. Okay, and we have here all the values. We have owner ID. We are not interested on in owner ID. We want to see owner name. So we put it like this, name. And if we run it, you will see the owner name. Perfect. So now I save it. And then I will export here. I have a data table. And then I can use a forage on the data table to do what I want with the data. So in a very way, easy way, you can work with any custom tables that you have on your Salesforce instance. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.